Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and you're watching V Dubs Reacts. We have made it. We are here. Today is the Gaius of Bilakila finale. <sighs> so, for the last time for GSP Season 1, um, please welcome back John Cruz No Lloyd. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm feeling a little uh, somber because of. You know, this this is where it started for us. <laughs> this is where it started for us. If you guys are watching this now, um, GSP episode one uh, was the first BL reaction on this channel, and it started all of the BL reactions on the channel. This channel, in general, it was it, this is where this show is where everything started. So, our episode three reaction is where a lot of you found us, and. <sighs> Man, everything, all of the growth the channel has experienced since then has been started because of my me deciding to react to this show, um, and so it's a it's a special one for sure. Um, and for the occasion, John and I both have pancakes <laughs> uh, for today. Um, I have cinnamon roll pancakes. Uh, focus, and I focus. have some ube. Cakes. Yes. So we are. Oh, they look to... so. They look so good with the lighting. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yes. Hashtag lighting. So um, we're gonna be enjoying our food. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a pancake mukbang. Uh, I was telling John. Breakfast. I was like, breakfast. Breakfast. And breakfast. Fun cakes. Yes. We also. Oh yeah. I also have um, have um, like hash browns and eggs. Um, I got an egg and some spam. I am not sponsored by Denny's, but shout out to them for uh, <laughs> door dashing I to my house. I am sponsored by myself because hey. I made all of this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> shout out shout out to being able to door dash food at four in the morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, That's a, a privilege. Yeah. Um, before we get into our our pre, pre-episode discussion, um, I definitely wanted to... Um, first start by talking about uh, how the Philippines has just gone through um, a really devastating typhoon. And so um, a couple of our fellow reactors, Kent, Cigarex, and Sid, um, they put together a beautiful fundraiser called Boys Love Loves Back. Hashtag Boys Love Loves Back. Um, in an effort to raise yes. fun, uh, funds for typhoon victims, um, me and John are um, excited and happy and proud to be a part of this fundraiser. If you want to donate and help raise funds for this cause, um, you just have to tap the link in our description. And what happens is top donors can get a personalized video greeting from their favorite BL reactor. Um, so uh, if you're watching, you're a GSP fan, um, you can direct all your, you can choose, you can choose which actor you want um, to possibly enter in to get a, a, a personalized video greeting from. Um, so you can choose anyone from um, the GSP cast along with a whole bunch of other shows um, and all the different actors. 55 so, actors. 55 actors and I think it's like 12 shows. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you know, there's actors from Game Boys, In Between, Pearl Next Door, um, Mike Extraordinary, Quarant Things, Guys of Pelicula. GSP guys to Pilakila and so um, yeah it's gonna be going to a beautiful cause if you're if you really want to uh, jump in um, a ticket costs 100 pesos 100 pesos um, which and is... I know I know that it's it's tough right now I know there's some of us that um, can't quite help mm -hmm. so um, you know if that's the case um, by sharing um, yes. uh, the um, uh, the hashtag and all the posts that we have um, that's that's helped enough so it's um, so helpful yeah if you guys find us on Twitter um, you know we've, we've been reposting a lot of the graphics so um, if you can't give today you know um, definitely pass the word along uh, so others you can uh, if you click once you click the the link for the donations you can click to buy uh, donation tickets and then all you have to do is choose whichever actor you want to choose and you can buy as many donations tickets as you want um donation period ends on november 29th uh, of 2020 so make sure uh as you're watching this video um if it's before november 29th 2020 uh you still have time to join top donor not only gets to uh possibly get a shout out from their uh, bl actor of their choice but where us reactors are involved is um the top donor can actually choose to appear in a reaction video 
uh, with your chosen BL reactor. So if that's us, you can totally choose us. Um, but um, also, the top five donors can get a personalized video greeting from participating BL reactors. Um, and top 20 donors will get a shout out from participating BL reactors. So uh, you can you can get a shout out from from us or any of your other favorite BL reactors, and also um, possibly get a shout out or video greeting from your favorite BL actors. And so it's a it's a great way to um, have 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 some fun and to maybe get some, some fun shout outs, um, and also to know that it's all going to a beautiful cause. Um, the Philippines really really needs us right now it's been super devastating to see um what's happened with them um a lot of people have lost their homes a lot of people um their whole first floor of their houses have been like flooded and having to be rescued like from their rooftop and 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 a lot of people have also unfortunately passed away so it's a very trying time and um i'm so happy again to be a part of this and so proud of our friends kent c-rex and um and sid for putting this together so um yeah guys th make sure you guys check out the link in the description um and help us donate to that cause <laughs> All right, so um, John and I have have our usual notes uh, before uh, from episode seven before we get into um, today's episode. Um, do you want to go first, John? Or you want want me to go first? Um, I'll go first. Oh wait, well, <laughs> well, I, did I you just kombucha there, girl just... me? You're like, ah, no, <laughs> ah, well, nah, <laughs> kombucha girl. <laughs> no, um. Yeah, I, I, I can go. I, I mean, I only okay. have uh, four things that I do want to bring sure, up. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so one thing I'm that I, I, we did pancakes. miss last week, um, and I think it's worth calling out, was um, the the joke um, that Anna um, kind of brought up with the uh, the eyes to eyes thing when um, right after she made her toast. Um, you know, when they were clinking their glasses, she was like, ice to ice, ice to ice. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought that that was such a Scorpio thing to do. Um, and and, that, and this is something I, I totally didn't catch on because I have no idea what that is. Like, what what is the <laughs> ice to ice thing? Yeah, so um, uh, ice to ice is... Uh, uh, that, that, you don't even know where it really came from, but uh -huh. um, my cousins have have taught taught it to me um, from mm -hmm. uh, Germany, okay. and um, and it's pretty much um, you you know you keep um, your your you lock your eyes with the person that you're clinking your glass with um, in choosing? respect to them, and uh -huh. uh, you know so you're supposed to do it with everyone that you're clinking your glass to okay. um, or with because uh, if you and is don't, this a Filipino get... thing? Like they do this in the Philippines? No, I think it's like a I think it's like a universal it's just like thing. a general thing. Okay. Um, yeah, so it, it just it means that or, or there's a saying that if you don't um, lock eyes, you get seven years of bad sex, and that's why. Um, um, in that scene, I think Judith uh, finishes um, uh, the uh, the scene with uh, seven years, as um, uh, as Anna says. Um, <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, yeah. I okay. size. I size. I, I love that. that I totally, totally did not catch that. <laughs> I love that you know what that was. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Um, Cheers. I know a few alcoholics. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I know a few alcoholics. <laughs> Also, um, with the eating, I remember I was telling John, I was like, should we eat during? Like, or is that going to be weird? And I was like... No, go ahead you're... and eat. Go ahead and eat. No, I was... When, I was when we get the I chance. Just, it's it's no, a I just celebration. Want... No, I just wanted to say, like, I was telling John, I was like, if we're going to be a mess today, we're going to be a fucking full-on mess. So we're going to be eating mm -hmm. and crying through our pancakes and our tears. So... Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the other three things were just... Uh, I wanted to highlight the three kinds of allies that we saw. Um, with uh, last episode um, mm -hmm. two weeks ago, um, one of them being uh, Ate Judith, who um, has love but is um, is pretty irrational. Um, she's she also has no uh, sense of boundaries. Um, you know, she ate up Tito uh, Santi's um, story or about her his um, heartbreak, but mm -hmm. I felt like it wasn't out of sincerity. Um, and then the way that you know she felt like she can tell Anna to shut up um, and. Lastly, um, you know, her little joke before walking into the apartment, um, it was such a symbol of her not really um, recognizing um, that. Talking about the Bert Noni joke? 
the 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 magician joke. Um, oh, the, the open joke after, me thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. The open sesame joke right mm -hmm. after Bert and Ernie. Mm -hmm. um, the Bert and Ernie one was kind of funny. Um, you know, back then, right? <laughs> and then we have we have two um, Anna, who's um, supportive, um, and me, although she may tiptoe uh, on like you know the boundaries a little bit um as if she's a curious cat um she's res respectful but i feel like it's a little bit um she's a little bit ineffective in the way that she's quick to step up um but also she's kind of quick to step back a little bit you know as she did with um as she stepped back from um, the situation with uh, Judith and um, and Carl, mm -hmm. um, I thought that was a little bit disappointing on her end because you know I, I thought like she said some things she should have just kind of kept going mm -hmm. um, and protected her um, her friend, but maybe she didn't feel that close enough to them because sure. you know as as we should be reminded um, this happened within probably less than a month, right? Um, it's it really just seems like uh she's um quick to uh step up um um but also she's quick to step back as we saw with her withdrawing from um you know arguing with uh Ati Judy, um mm -hmm. with the situation with um with carl mm -hmm. i felt like she should have fought a little more um maybe her scorpio more, more her scorpio uh Ness. is it a venom it's venom right mm -hmm. um oh you said in the live stream her claws were too sharp right right yeah and and i i, I felt like she should have she should have used a little bit more of of that um but then again you know we don't know because um it's we should be reminded that it's um it's it could be only in the span of a month maybe even less that they've known each other um so maybe that's why she didn't feel like she had enough um uh, of a place to say something or sure. to you know continue on with that um you're talking about uh, again have, ju ju Atij, right this is at the uh, no this is anna anna, anna yeah, yeah yeah right yeah. um and then lastly uh we have tita sans um He's uh, more experienced and, and has um, has love, but uh, it, I feel like he's a little bit emotional, and maybe his judgment could be a little clouded as he mm -hmm. is currently going through a heartache sure. or heartbreak. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, uh, I think that's a little bit of a stretch because uh, I don't know with his, his his experience, he should really know what he's talking about. So I think. Sure. Um, so I think that that's like that makes him the best out of the three uh, as far as um, you know to help what um, what's happening and um, right. maybe Actual diffuse the situation. Who's you know been through his own struggles? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, with with those three in mind, um, I really uh, I really hope that um, you know one of them steps up and, and help uh, the two guys. But um, otherwise, I'm just preparing for season two <laughs> <laughs> that's why i called today um season one finale just uh, specifically it's season one like manifesting the finale man of the show. Mani just manifesting that the there's universe. gonna be a season two <laughs> but yeah uh, was, was that everything that you had had for that that that's all that's all for um that's all for now um i'll save the rest for the discussion um with our uh our, our live stream um, yep. our viewers let's go um, yeah, just, just kind of quick, quick things. I mean, for me, episode seven was like the perfect storm. Um, mm -hmm. I, when I watched it, you know, I had, I had my feelings. I had my issues with, with how things went down. I remember I was upset with the did because I was like, girl, mm -hmm. like that's not an ally thing, you know? And I, I saw, I had issues with a lot of different little things that I saw that happened, but the more times I rewatched the episode, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that like they're all valid in their in the way that things went down. It's like, mm -hmm. albeit like some of them approach things in a way that could have probably been handled better, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's like oh, I totally get why it happened the way it did. You know, with Ati Judy, mm -hmm. she's bouncing between being an ally and being a protective sister. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's why you a kind fierce of fierce one. Yes, and that's why you kind of get that scene where it's like she's really cross and really um, cornering with 
with Carl, but then kind of also goes back and tries to comfort him, you know? So it's like mm. that, like in between, and then, you know, also just focusing with between Vlad and Carl. Um, mm. Man, it, it set up such a tough conf- conflict, you know? Because it's like, I get both sides. I've been on both sides, you know? And, and I remember we got a really good question during the live stream, and it was like, um, if if between the two, who should have to adjust for the other and, and what compromise should be made? And I felt like on both sides, with Carl, he has to be ready to make the commitment to get to be out and to be able to give Vlad what Ati Juliet was saying about having someone who can be proud of him and mm-hmm. and and proudly be and not with deny him, him and not have to deny him and mm-hmm. and ha- not have to make him go back into the closet just to protect mm-hmm. him. But then on Carl's side of things, mm-hmm. like just like with anyone, like he deserves to have the time to. Um, to take his time to come out and to, to do it on in his own terms, um, mm-hmm. and and in a way that is m- most comfortable for him. Because if he like, I always say like, you know, I, I if I I know people who have had that taken away from them who didn't get to do it on their own terms, and so I always say if you have the opportunity to do it on your own terms in your own time, um, to to take the advantage of that, and so like. I remember another way that I was looking at it, I was like, if man, if I was looking at them as like two people that I know, like they're my friends and I was giving them advice, I would tell them exactly that. It's like, you guys have to kind of meet each other halfway a little bit, you know, like for Carl, he might need to um, be comfortable with making that commitment to be out and, and a little earlier than expected, you know, and, and ha- sacrifice a little bit of that time to really um as a testament to like him being committed to giving that what giving to vlad what he needs in the relationship and then also vlad um being okay with being a little bit patient with him to get there um but at the same time i was thinking you know what like if carl maybe they're both gonna be stubborn yeah that could be it too like you know if, if carl isn't ready he isn't ready and unfortunately it was like if it's me i was like if i was talking to carl i was like you know what like if you're not ready if you're not ready to be able to commit to this and you're not able to give to each other what you guys need from each other then you guys kind of have to let go you know for now at least and 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 give yourselves that time apart to get there which is why also to john and i had the theory that we might get a time jump uh, we, we, we remember that um, this story takes place in 2018 so uh, maybe we'll get a jump to 2020 um, and, and see maybe they've had some time apart um, and I think I think I think we're gonna get that I think we're gonna get this we're gonna get some time apart between them um, mm-hmm. Carl's going to transfer to film um, and start to really learn about that because I remember in the trailer there's a line that we I realized we haven't gotten yet and it was um, someone asking him, it was like a female voice saying, um, okay, why do you want to write films? Or why do you want to um, be in movies or something, something like that, something along those lines. And so when I was thinking about that, I was like, oh, I think maybe that's probably like him like talking to a counselor or something about mm-hmm. why he wants to shift, uh, why he wants to transfer majors. Um, okay. And so I think I think that's what's gonna happen, and maybe maybe they'll spend some time and then see each other again. And after having had time apart, maybe we'll get that happy ending. Because, um, I mean, I remember like it from the from the beginning has always said um, we're taking back our story and and we're getting the happy endings that we feel like characters and our community should get. So I'm I'm hoping that we get that happy ending. I feel like that's what we're gonna get, and I'm. I'm, but I mean, either way, I'm prepared to be <sighs> in my who field. Knows, who, who knows if it's ending right now? So sure. I mean, yeah. I feel like I feel like it's gonna be a a sad. See you later. <laughs> Possibly. I mean, again, it's like it would be realistic, you know, if they if I I, I remember I, in the live stream I was saying like, I'd be totally happy with them kind of leaving it open ended, where it's like, hey, mm-hmm. we're not ready right now, but mm-hmm. maybe in the future and like and right. like they still love each other um mm-hmm. 
or maybe we get that and then we get a time jump and then we get to see them like seeing each other for the first time and it's like oh this is their they're getting that to start a nice. new you know uh, but yeah the last two things was um again just i always like to go back to like combing over the trailer and um, two scenes that we haven't gotten yet is the Tito Sans hugging scene. There's a scene mm-hmm. where um, Carl is hugging Tito Sans from behind and mm-hmm. then also crying to him. And, and so I imagine that's probably going to happen um, in the fallout of after what happened last episode. I think um, yeah. Jadid's going to take Vlad home. And mm-hmm. and, and uh, she's like, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll, maybe we'll see we'll meet his mom. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I think Atiji is gonna take Vlad home because he's obviously heartbroken, and she's gonna want to take him mm-hmm. away from that. And then Carl is gonna be left at home with uh, Tito Sans. They're obviously gonna talk about what happened because the like, Sans saw them kiss, so they're gonna have that conversation. And um, I think, you know, despite Carl's fear that he even even having a fear that his gay uncle found out or might tell his parents, like I think. Tito Sanz has Carl's back because as we've seen in the beginning of the season he's willing to lie to Carl's parents about like the rent and all that stuff to like take care of him and give him that support and mm-hmm. so especially being a gay man himself he's I'm sure he's more than willing to give Carl that space to mm-hmm. not only have a safe space to come out to him but also to know that hey I know you don't want your parents to know yet I'll be here to support you to give you that time mm-hmm. to talk to them because Carl yeah. also has, still has to deal with that with his parents like the, like we still haven't seen him face the repercussions of that in terms of how the their last phone call ended of him finally telling that he wants a shift and it ending on a sour note like his dad was pissed you know so that's another yeah. thing he still has to confront but um and then one last thing is uh in the trailer um there's a quick shot of Ian with a guitar. I've been waiting for it all season because we know that Ian has a beautiful singing voice and because of Twitter and everything we know now that um, Ian does have a song in this finale. Um, me and John have stayed away from it. We've also stayed away from the previews. I did watch the preview that they posted last week, um, not but not shame, the one that, but not the one that they posted today. Um, and so, yeah, I'm I'm excited and ready to be in my feels i'm i've kind of been talking more just because i don't want it to end yet but um i think we're here uh for the last <sighs> time this is it for the last time neighbors um and john are you ready to get into it for the last time for now yes for now yeah because we're still manifesting season two <laughs> why am i already feel like i'm gonna cry <laughs> we haven't even I started I, I, I am too i'm getting i'm getting really uh <sighs> Emotional already, so let's go, let's do it. Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's not sad, night. <laughs> oh, there's Blood. See, I, last time they, they were sponsors, I totally didn't realize Blood was like a dating app. <laughs> I didn't even know until now. Yeah. Oh, Ian. Let's go with Sam. Hey, it's okay, Karin, Karin, calm down, okay? We'll figure this out. Simple, it's okay. I'm gonna finish the food food now and then... This is gonna be ugly crying while shoving food in my mouth. I'm yeah. just getting emotional because yeah. everything is like, oh, this is the last time. Like, last time we get to experience this intro. And, uh, I'm already a mess. God damn it. Uh, my pancakes are going to be salty because I'm going to cry all over them. <laughs> yeah, I- <laughs> I'm already crying! The I know! Fuck, man! Stop it! <laughs> okay. 
Ah, uh, this is the scene from oh, the it's trailer. The first, it's the from yeah from the trailer. This is that. That's the shot where Paolo it says featuring Pangilinan. Paolo Pangilinan. Yep, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's the scene Ian with the guitar. <laughs> with Ian Pangilinan. Oh my God, that's the scene. Are we getting a song already? What? See, there's a time show. to see this type of um, scene often when it comes to like breakups you know like the he never put any picture in the picture frame I think this is a flashback because he's wearing that blue shirt. Yeah, it definitely is a flashback. <laughs> this is one reason why I cried when I saw the preview last week because I realized Ian's song is the the song that plays in the opening sequence. waiting for this scene too. This is in the trailer and we never got it until now. The volume is really low for me. I can't, I can't even hear it. Oh, I'm sorry. Both of you, <laughs> you should have both compromised. <laughs> he said, "Call my name." Call his name. He said, "Turn around." What is? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why can't he say it? The year na binili ko tong condo na to, a boyfriend broke up with me. Mahina naman talaga ako dad. Oh, this is where the hug is. Kapitaan lang mm-hmm. ako ng kabutihan. Parang kaya na akong mahalin. Mm-hmm. Nakakainis lang kasi somehow, yun lang ang naalala ng mga tao. Pati ng papa mo. Kebs, kung ako lang yung kilala nila lang, baka lang engineer. Or na... Nakabili na ako ng condo while they're still renting. Hmm. Basta bakla ako at may iniyakan na akong lalaki. Tapos uh, 
defense of my generation, we barely received it. See? Love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pag nandiyan, talod. Nagkang kakapit kami. Kasi, hindi namin kinulokhan yun eh. At hindi namin alam kung may darating ba uli. Oh, that's why he hugs mm. him. <laughs> Kwento mo ba sa akin? O, kumulaan ko na lang. <laughs> o, taray. Sumihin ba yung kamino? <laughs> <laughs> Pero Carl, I have a favor to ask. Whatever happens, you need to remember. I just got my heart broken. Again. <laughs> Hindi ako laging nasasaktan dahil bakla ako. Lagi lang kasi akong nagmamahal. Mm. Yes, dito sa hands. All my achievements still mine. Yes. So don't turn me into a cautionary tale. Oh, I'm too fabulous to be one, yes! I was doing so good. I like. I can't believe this is his first. Oh! Mm-hmm. <gasps> you said it. so proud of Tao like for his first acting gig this is amazing he's doing so good first day of school oh okay see time jump it's not that much of a time jump though sure hi Anna hi Opa how was your first day? it's exciting I gave my advice to subject that related to the film Oh my god, oh my god, they're gonna be in the same group. I want to see her daughter. Oh my god, please walk. Anyway, that's me on this, okay? This is the mature thing to do. Yeah. I mean, there's still burlap to look forward to, right? I feel like every time I see Sue and the actress, she's like eating or <laughs> drinking something. Same. I'm eating today, too. <laughs> Ooh! What? This is when she meets her girlfriend. Who is she? Bye bye. I love you. Oh, I love you. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, Quinto. No. Oh my god! 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 This is what I was saying. They're gonna run into each other and. Oh, they're gonna salise. You know what salise is? They're gonna miss each other. Wait, John Robert Austria. 
Oh god. How did he not see him? He'd be blinded. In the car. He... he... Vlad should have seen him. Wait, who... So is the professor... Maybe he's looking at his phone. I'm sorry, sir, but this MS already started. I won't have the time for it. But thank you for everything. Alright. Unless... Yeah, go ahead. I'd like to read my name in the byline next time. Do you have a job where I can do that? Nice. Yes. There you go. Alright, sir. Thank you. Alright, I'll get yours. <sighs> Oh, the stormtrooper is not there. No. I was just trying to trigger you so you can cry. Oh, is it pancakes? pancakes? <laughs> Put it back. No, I don't know how to cook pancakes. The one cup of rice. Mm. Huh? <sighs> again, he did it again. Ooh, this sounds beautiful. Pretty. Mm, flashbacks. <laughs> he's just he's just imagining him. Yeah. <laughs> I always return to our memories. Especially now that you're not here. In the trailer, we didn't get that. I was waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> if you only knew I'm waiting for you. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna cry yet. I'm just gonna cry my, this whole. I I started ex, the way I started crying. The, the way I started be, crying from this. Funny segment, you because you like, were already wailing. I was crying from okay. the fr from the freaking opening okay, sequence think, okay, that I haven't on. stopped. I need a. <laughs> Calmate. Calmate. Yon. <sighs> okay. Who's this? What's going on? Oh, I think this is... Who's this? What is going on? Why are they being mysterious with who it is? Why did it look like this a person This person had like a knife? No, I didn't... Oh, no, that. no, no, this is Vlad, this is Vlad, this is Vlad. From the... Tr the... He looked like he had a knife in his hand. From a shadow. Did you, didn't you see? I didn't. In the end. In the or is this the horror? This is the <gasps> horror story. This is Vlad's horror story. Huh? Why are you inside me? But did lock me on pinto. Why did you lock? Oh no no no! no. I know who it is. Sir, unit. Oh, he's drunk. He's drunk. 
Sir, sabi nga hindi sa inyo itong unit ako. This is was in the preview last week. Oh, he, he went to the wrong unit. Not your unit. Hahaha 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 There, stay there Ang init naman, Arky, wala nga bang fire ko? Mag-ubad ako dito, sa dito Kai, mag-ubad ako dito, do you hear me? Hmm Hindi nababasa siya Wait lang Yan, o dali! Tanggalin mo yung isa kong shoes and wait there and baby. Ang baby. Tanan mo nga ako. Yung isa nga nahubad mo eh. Oh, matapos mo akong saktan, tatanggalin lang ng sapatos mo. Oh! Bruh. There. Fetch, doggy. Fetch, fetch. Come here. Doreen! Yan! Doreen! Good boy. Pancake. Hmm. 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 Hmm? Orto, orto. Tapon ko ulit ito. Hmm. Touch his hair. Hmm. I'm not allowed to touch his hair anymore. Hmm. I wanna brush my teeth. Kasang sisig yung mouth ko eh. You wanna try? Hmm. Hindi lang sisig. Hindi lang sisig. Hindi lang sisig. Hindi lang sisig. Oh, it's super oh, still there. Toothbrush ka na nga. Nangalinga suka kaya. Kaya nga, amoy suka pa eh. Kanino ko sa lahat? Ito. Nalasin mo ako eh. Oh. Oh, no. Glad you gotta grow up though. You gotta grow up. Strong. So this is, we know he's like this when he gets heartbroken. Yeah, but. It's not always the way. Of course. I met with my ex, Kanina. Don't worry, it's not like that. They did so for closure. Apparently, he cheated on me. Oh, oh God. God. The only reason why he broke up with me. The fuck? He did it because he fell in love with the guy. He got so angry and I walked out of the bar, Kanina. And it was like an entire scene. <laughs> If I'm being honest, mas nagalit ako sa fact na alam ng lahat ng friends nila ng tungkol sa kanila. Whereas I wasn't even allowed to tell any of our friends in the org. Mm, I get it. You know, trust me, I, I do. I'm sorry that I tried to take you. Pero vlad, tama ka I, naman eh. I'm sorry na pinilit ko. Vlad, tama ka. <gasps> okay. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's great. Mm. You said it. Mm. But out there, Carl, are you ready to say it out there? Mm. That's so important. Not just with the two of them. <laughs> But I'm sorry, Carl. I don't want to be silent about my love. Mm -hmm. I've done that enough. I want to be out there. Deserve it. Just like you. Deserve to take your time. <laughs> yeah. <Silence. laughs> okay? It's everything I was saying, but I love oh, that. Oh, the TV's off. I love that they they talked about it's it. It's them. It's them who said it. They're the movie. times mm. not playing with you no more
That's now. That's the shirts they were wearing. It's their last night. Yeah. This feels like it's their last night. Comfortable dito sa sarili mong dimension nyo, Carl. Hmm. Pero, sabi mo, dito ka lang titira. Hindi ka magkukulong. Sige nga, when was the last time you made a friend na ikaw ang unang nag-approach? Hmm. Hey, Vlad. Hey, Vlad. Hmm. Tapos, ang special lang meron sa inyo, di ba? Hmm. Pero, hanggang dito lang siya. Hanggang dito lang siya sa lugar na to. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na lang bilang yun. I'm like filled with anxiety because eh, I don't want the episode to end. Lagi kasi makikasali yung realidad. Doon, wala tayong kawala. Yeah. It's so beautiful what she's saying. Hindi ko sinasabing mag-out ka, ha? Sa'yo yan. Sinasabi ko lang, mabuhay ka sa labas. Hawak mo pa ang oras mo, kaya samantalahin mo yun, ha? Wow. Please? Yes. Yes, Anna. Dapat ka nilang makita. See? So we're saying like Carl needs time. Saan? Saan? Makilala? Madiskubre? Hmm. Sige nga, bakit gusto mong magpelikula? Oh, so it's... It's Anna who asked him. Hmm? Ay, kaninong kwento? Sa akin. Yes. Sino ang kwentohan mo? <laughs> Oh, my God. It's oh, Gege! <laughs> Bakit sila magkakaroon ng pakailang sa kwento mo? Ikaw, wala ka namang pakailang sa kanila. Pakailang naman ako sa kanila. O, oh, edi, isa na mo ang kwento nila. This boy. <laughs> I love that because that was that was product placement, but so in story. I love that. Yeah. Oh, I get oh, to see her daughter. daughter. That's what we were hoping to see. Why am I so attached to them? I was triggered because once the Unti Unti plays, I always know it's the end is coming. Wait, what was Gege doing with Anna? Without the 
enjoy the Judith. Sorry, with the Judith, yeah. Oh my god, it's him. It's what? There's this scene, yep, they sit next to each other and Carl looks at him. It's film class. First, you gotta get yourself ready first, man. That's what I said. He needs to take time. <laughs> oh, oh my God, he's here. Uh, fuck. <laughs> To everyone that's involved in the show. Thank you for the show. <sighs> Does this mean they're back together or what? <laughs> Liberating love and equal rights to everyone. The real fight is on the outside. We will welcome you when you're ready. And then <laughs> SADB now, Soji Equality now. When are we gonna meet again? <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. I legitimately cried through the whole episode. <sighs> so, as you guys know, um, we're gonna be saving our after episode discussion for the live stream, but um, I told John that uh, I wanted to end today's reaction with a tweet that GK wrote, <laughs> and I'm crying because I know what it says, but John doesn't know what it says. <laughs> and, um, I'm gonna read it. He, he tweeted it yesterday, the day before the finale. It's a long thread. Um, it starts off with the Tagalog, which I'm probably gonna <laughs> butcher, but <laughs> I'm gonna do my best with it. <sighs> okay. You ready, John? I don't know. <laughs> okay. The quote, he starts with a quote in Tagalog, and it says... And again, I'm so sorry if I my Tagalog is terrible, but it starts off with a quote that says, Pinapatalon na kita na sa second floor kapag lang umakyat kapang rooftop sa ibang building na ako na katiyan. Not his, and then he goes on to say, Not his best metaphor, 
but message received. I missed out. When we became friends, he knew I still had feelings for him. It didn't matter. We were fine. In context, John, I think we talked about this, but I don't. If you don't know, then um, <coughs> Gege is Carl. Yeah. <coughs> the next, the tweet goes. The thread goes on. <coughs> he said once, but love is shared, and I nonchalantly told him off. You don't get to invalidate my feelings, even if they're for you, bitch. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, and thank you. He relented finally. <coughs> Our loves are memories, I said. I was emo drunk in their veranda. <clears throat> they don't disappear. They're like layers of cellophane. There'll be shades of the buried ones on the surface. I swear I was drunk. <clears throat> and being in love <clears throat> is different from loving, I said. When you're in love, you're constantly aware of your being in love. When you love someone, you can go about your day not thinking about it whatever lo- without ever losing its weight. That cellophane layer needs not be on the surface. Of course I wasn't able to phrase it exactly that way, but that's how the conversation went. I told him then, I'm no longer in love with you, but I'll always love you, I'm sure. I still remember the look on his face then, on the verge of tears, slightly embarrassed, sexy and sweat, <laughs> beautiful even in Asian flesh. He smiled and said, I believe you. Thank you for loving me. I said, and he said, it's okay, you love me too, in a way. And then cheers. I was drunk. But thankfully not drunk enough to forget, because that was the last time we talked like that. <laughs> Ten years after he died, I found myself writing a what-if story about him. <laughs> the upperclassman, some student I fell in love with, back when I was an archie major scared of his gayness. <laughs> The first time I told myself, it's time to take back our story. I only meant to write one that ends with you alive and us being together, despite my youthful fears. (laughs) But now it's much bigger than us, old friend. And for that, it is so much better. (laughs) Thank you for all this love. For guys, guys. Thank you so much. We are down to our last episode and I can't help but get emotional. (laughs) He used to tell me then, love is shared. Now take a look at all this love, Vladdy. Is this shared enough for you? <laughs> and now, John, you know why. <laughs> I had an extra layer of why I was crying this whole episode because I kept thinking about this thread and how it's the happy ending he wanted for himself. I mean, again, we're I actually, say. I mean, um, I knew. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Because I, we've heard before that the real, the real story of the real Vlad is a sad ending. I never knew exactly what it was, but <sighs> reading that tweet and knowing that that's what this was, like, oh my god. I can't think them enough for this story. Um, it's impacted us in ways that I'll never forget. It's a, it was the start of this channel, it was and everything that came along with the joy that I've had doing this channel so far. Like it because I. I did the episode one by myself, and um, this was before John even knew I was doing reactions or that he even watched BLs, and it was because I posted episode one reaction for Gaia Spilakula that John found out that I was doing a reaction channel and that I did BLs, and literally it was like the Sunday after I posted episode one, 
Ghost reaction. <laughs> and John hit me up, and that's when we decided we were going to start doing videos together. Yeah. Because I posted about this show. And so, every reaction I've done with John since, whether it's the show or other shows, is because of the show. And so, and this doing this channel has been like so much goodness. Like, it's been like the thing that's made me happiest this year doing this these videos experiencing this show and meeting all of you guys um who are our viewers um so it's like there's so many reasons why i'm in emotion i'm emotional right now but um just to save the actual discussion of the episode for our live stream um just wanted to end with that thank you for watching thank you to Gege and JP and Paulo and Ian everyone I'm sorry the rest of the actors I can't remember your name right now because I'm a mess but thank you for this show thank you for sharing your story and thank you for thank you for telling our story um, John do you have anything you want to say to close the video out? um I think uh To uh, to get it like <laughs> you've um, you've really um, made all of us proud, and I think you've made, so proud. Um, you've made such a statement with um, your story, and we we thank you. Um, like I thank you from the bottom of my heart because um, I know it's such a journey that you've um, you've gone through, and um, you should be proud um, with. Um, with this and with and I think <laughs> I think uh, Vlad is proud too <laughs> um, but, and you know thank you for the rest of the team JP um, thank you for your uh, direction um, in uh, putting together uh, Giga's um, vision Adrian um, for Adrian for bringing the beautiful character of Atejudi alive. Yes. Every um, uh, actor that we saw had um, every actor that we saw had um, really made such uh, an impression um, and I just I can't I can't let go <laughs> of this show. Um, Yash Bruce and so, Justine Pena who plays Sue and Franco Ramos, who plays Tita Sons. <sighs> Thank you all so much, um, you guys and are... and everyone that's behind, um, you know, behind the scenes too. Mm. Um, that took care of the music and took care of um, all the um, the symbols and and um, the color, the lighting, and and every single Everything. detail that went into this. We really, really, really appreciate you all. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but Thank <laughs> like you. you're just chewing on pancakes, <laughs> tears yeah. running down your cheeks. Um, All right, neighbors. Um, neighbors, we love you. Um, we uh, one thing I want to say is like this story has been so important, and also just to get that context of what it means to get it and what the story is for him. As much as I, I, I want a season two, I, I know how important it is that a season two comes because there's a story that needs to be told. Their yeah. their story needs to continue to be told. So, if that's the case for Carl and Vlad, I can't wait to see them again. But if not, oh, man, I'm gonna cherish this show forever, dude. Like. Christmas is never gonna be the same. I'm always gonna think of Vlad. I'm always. Gonna, I'm probably gonna start having pancakes on Christmas every year because of this show. <laughs> but, <laughs> just stop crying, dude. Stop it. I can't. It's the season finale of me crying. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, 
<laughs> um, if hopefully uh, no, those of you who are watching, it's a cliffhanger. Will we cry some more? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Tune in. Uh, hey. Um, yeah. Um, again, if if by the time you're watching this, you've already we we will have already had the live stream chat about this, but um, you know, we'll I will have more live stream chats in the future. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to dive into um, our discussion, um, go ahead and click the end card um, to check out the live stream recording um, after you watch this. Um, please comment down in the comments. I love you. I love you. Hold on. You got to do that again. Wipe your nose. Oh, <laughs> I told you I was prepared to be 100% a mess. Oh. No, you're good. Okay, um, go. Try but one yes. more time. <laughs> I'm not cutting this. I'm putting it all in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you again for for um, watching Neighbors. Um, thank you for coming to this channel. And for so many of you who opened up to me, um, the friends that we've made because of our reactions to this show, like, you guys know who you are. We talk to you guys all the time. And you guys keep are sending so, keep sending us those messages. We you we guys really are so supportive it. in our premieres. You come to our live streams. You you come to our in our comments and you you write us beautiful thoughts and, and your, your your theories and your feelings and um, in our dms some of you are have been a little a little naughty but it's okay we appreciate <laughs> it <laughs> we love you we love you yes. regardless um we thank you guys so much for the love um we, we we're gonna continue to be talking about this show for a long time i promise you that uh we're gonna do more live streams um, now we get to finally, uh, we've been holding it off, uh, but we're going to read the Wattpad novel. Uh, we're probably going to try to do a live reaction of that so we can continue to talk about these characters. Um, but for now, make sure you guys check out our live stream chat. And, um, un I just, as it said in the end of the, the show, um, until we meet again. So we meet again, neighbors. My neighbors. <laughs> I didn't cut yet. That's gonna be I a know, beautiful ending. <laughs> <laughs>